Jersey City Council unanimously passed an amendment to create an Office of Diversity and Inclusion. Its responsibilities will include a review for tax abatement compliance and the hiring of minorities and women-owned businesses by developers. Jersey City Council President Rolando Lavaro refers to it as a promise fulfilled to the rest of Jersey City. Councilperson Coleman, the committee, Councilperson Waterman, um, all the members of the committee um, working with the VA and the administration law department. Um, great to see this come to fruition. Uh, a lot of people have come to this council over the past two, two years um, uh, urging for um, greater opportunities for our local communities and minorities to be able to take advantage of the economic opportunities and not just in the downtown waterfront but also coming throughout the rest of the city. And I can tell you, I mean, um, I'm not one much given to um, overblowing expectations on things, but in the short time that the, this office is, um, these, these folks have been, we're staffing these, these offices now, and getting people moving on this, um, and this is, they're doing a great job already, and they're being very rigorous and aggressive in making sure that we hold our covenants with our, with developers and, um, and uh, the developers who are receiving tax revenues from Jersey City. Um, making sure that uh, they uh, make every effort to begin the efforts to begin to come into compliance if they're not in compliance. And for those that are um, making efforts but not being as effective, to, to work more aggressively with them to make sure that they, can, they have the tools and resources and the um, access to uh, Jersey City residents and minorities and others that uh, can take advantage of the opportunities. I am very optimistic that when this um, gets in full motion, uh, that the real benefits, and I think this is the, 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 the promise of Jersey City and the development that's coming in Jersey City, that's come to Jersey City, that this is the promise fulfilled for, for, for the rest of Jersey City outside of the downtown waterfront, and making sure that as we talked about, making the bridge um, and ending the tail of two cities. And I think this is critical and key. I just want to say that I am so happy that in this administration, we care to run. <laughs> For the first time in Jersey City, there is an office in place that's going to train and teach minorities and females in business how to do business with the city of Jersey City. I'm very happy about that, and I'm also happy that it's put Jersey City's employees that handle procurement and, and, and um, other development to look at how you're doing business because the city is watching you. And for those developers, the city is now going to be watching you and tax abatements won't be so easily gotten through if you don't comply to Jersey City residents. And I'm happy about that. Hudson County View, the eye of the community.